unless, unless the man was a psycho rapist. Yeah, of course, that's true. But, you know, at the same time, when, even if you take, you know, the lovemaking aspect away from it, like even in situations where, say, out in public, you go and approach a woman, you know, in an innocent and harmless fashion, just to, you know, maybe start a conversation just because she may be interested in her, you know, physical attraction or whatever it is, you know, sometimes you get looked at like you're some sort of monster just for even approaching them. And that may be part of, you know, social media taking over where no one can talk face-to-face -face anymore and everyone is just, you know, it, it's their... Is, is that something new? Do women generally look at men like they're monsters for saying hello? I've definitely uh, been thrown under that kind of category a few times just from approaching someone and saying, you know, hi, how are you? Can I buy you a drink? And it's like, <laughs> you know, it's, they put a cross in my face almost. <laughs> God. All right, you get a free copy of Government Zero. That brings us to uh, break time on the Savage Nation. And the topic for this hour has been young men, why are you afraid to get married? And I'll probably shift to something else in the next hour. So jump in while you can back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O. Potion number nine. We have that. That's called Levitra. Welcome back to the Savage Nation. And the question is, young men, why are you afraid to get married? And we brought up a lot of issues. The denigration of the white race in advertising, the denigration of the white male in movies. Men are, 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 white men in particular are being given an inferiority complex by the vermin in the media, the vermin in Hollywood. It's hard to believe how, how systemic this has become. Here's someone wrote me this. Steve says, typical ads today will show some dumbbell white being schooled by the withered black fellow who knows how to invest. He knows how to make smart purchase decisions. He knows how to rescue the dingbat white fellow from his stupidity. The black man always knows technology to the ninth degree. While in the ads, whites are shown genuflecting in their underwear in front of Michael Jordan, who looked down upon them with bemused, put-upon expressions. Now, I wouldn't read this to you if it wasn't true. Let someone prove that this email is false. I watch television. I'm in the media. I see what's going on. The same people who gave you the CNBC disgrace the other night, the same mentality runs the ad agencies. I can go down the wrist, I, uh, list, sorry, down the wrist. I'll go down the wrist, I'll be on the clicker here. So what are the birth rates by race and ethnicity? It seems that there are races who are not, in, oh, are not intimidated by uh, uh, women. Seems that there are races who are not intimidated by uh, the cost of raising children. Oh yeah, I'll take a look at it. You look at the birth rates by race and you'll see quite a story we keep hearing that uh, soon whites will be outnumbered in california by hispanics why is that tell me why that is well it has something to do with something doesn't it it's not just massive immigration it's about reproduction it's about the reproductive uh, rate amongst different races isn't it so why is that Hispanic men are not afraid to get married and have children. Could you explain that to me? I'd like to hear from a Hispanic guy. Why is he not afraid to get married and have children? What is he not afraid of? Why is it I go to a Kentucky Fried Chicken, I see a Spanish guy with his wife and daughters there on a Sunday? Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. I've got to know that record there is no book of love the book of love was burned a long time ago we have something else right now and the topic is a pretty good one i'll continue it for another 15 minutes or so which is young men why are you afraid to get married what's the answer now there is an article on my website michaelsavage.com it's a news article and the headline says strategic engineered migration as a weapon of war strategic engineered migration as a weapon of war now, you pretty much know what I'm talking about. It comes from the Belfer Center for Science and International Affairs. 
out of the John F. Kennedy School of Government, which is a liberal government, a liberal organization. Even they recognize that the refugees, so-called, that are invading Europe are a weapon of war. A new and different armament using refugees as weapon, as weapons has entered the world's arsenals. Many of you are absolutely ignorant to what this actually means. Europe is being overrun by Muslims, mainly young men of military age. And the weakling coward liberals running Europe are bending over backwards to accommodate them. It's gotten so bad that in Sweden, a lesbian priest, which is a joke to begin with, a lesbian priest has ordered that the cross and all crosses be removed from the church and that the pews be removed so that the church can be turned into a mosque for the Muslims who have been brought into her town. If this is not cultural suicide, I'd like to know what is. And that goes to the next question, which is the first question, which is, young men, why are you afraid of women? Why are you afraid to become a father? Why are you afraid to get married? This doesn't apply to all races and all religions, by the way. Many of these refugees come here to have 10, 12 children. Oh, yeah. Or there are people coming in from Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador. They have very large families. They're not rich. How come they're not afraid to have children? So what is it? What is it about the European-American male, in particular, the young ones, that intimidate them from getting married? It's an interesting question to me. And we've come up with some answers. And I think it's a valid question. And I'd like to continue the conversation. And let's go to the callers. BAP Dallas. Ray, answer. What's the reason, if I could see the line, uh, line, I got to put my glasses on, honestly. You know, it's a funny thing. On Facebook, I type in all caps. So people got offended. You know, they have, they still have the, the misnomer that if you type in all caps, you're screaming. I, I have this with my personal and business emails. So on the bottom of my emails, I used to have a, a an attachment that says, pardon my caps, but vision is king. It's hard for me to see when I'm typing in small font. So I type in all caps because it's like a telegram that I'm sending to someone. But unfortunately, people are so brainwashed and so conditioned that they think if you send them an email, in all caps, you're yelling at them. That's how idiotic they are. So I have to attach that to my email, so I put it on my Facebook page. People said, nah, Mike, don't worry about it. You speak in all caps, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about what you say. You're way beyond worrying about what size your font is. <laughs> how big is your font? <laughs> what was I talking about here? Okay, BAP, line six, Ray. What's the reason men are not having children? Well, for me, it's not children, it's marriage. Um, I come from a divorced family, and a lot of my friends do. And uh, it just doesn't seem worth it. And it's kind of like, what's the point? The man gets screwed out of it. And not only do we know, not know what a loving marriage looks like, we've never experienced for ourselves. And then with the culture today, it's much easier to just have a string of girlfriend along for years and be promiscuous then to settle down and if she gets pregnant you can still have kids just avoid the whole marriage legal toboggle and everything related to that so you said if she gets pregnant you could just have the kid who's going to raise the child though there's plenty of you know single moms with supportive dads like example a couple of my friends they don't have they have kids but they're not married and so it's like they the mom's the girlfriend not the wife so, but I hear a certain sadness in your voice, by the way. Yeah, because it's there. Yeah, I'm saying you're a sad guy. Why? Because of the of the broken home you came from? Uh, it's not only that, but it's just kind of the dating situation I've grown up with. Like, I was Roman Catholic all my life, and, like, I now it's hard to even find a woman that believes in God. And that makes you sad? Yeah. Because I wanted to raise my kids in, you know, a good Catholic family. A bunch of kids. Well, wh why can't you meet a Catholic girl in a church? I don't understand it. Uh, it's, um... What are, they, like, what are you saying? They're all dorks? Is that what... I mean, come on. Don't... You know, I mean, be realistic. If you're a Catholic guy and you're sad that you're not married and you're, you know, intimidated by what happened with your parents, but you want a family, wouldn't it be logical to go to a church for young... Uh, you know, a meeting for young people in your church? They're not there. Okay, so the Catholic girls are not there. Where are they? 
they're not Catholic anymore, and they have the clubs, and they sleep in past church hours. <laughs> oh, rim shot for you. Okay, I have no answer for you then. You know, I'm sitting here in San Francisco wondering why a guy in Dallas who's kind of really Christian can't meet a Christian woman. I, I can't imagine that there's no such place for you to meet. But I'll send you a copy of a book to cheer you up. It's entitled what? If you name it, you gain it. What's the book called? Government Zero. See that? You were, you came armed uh, and ready. By the way, folks, I want to put out a um, an appeal. This weekend is a very big weekend for me. And to send the message to Washington via the New York Times bestseller list, if you are planning on buying a copy of Government Zero, but you've been putting it off waiting for a week or two, I'd love you to consider doing it this weekend because it's like a movie opening where everything is is banking on the first weekend, the opening numbers of the weekend. If we can get it up in the top five on the list, and I think we will, it will send a powerful shot across the bow of the government. And someone wrote me and they said they were thinking of buying the Kindle version, but with the family coming for Thanksgiving, they bought a hardcover copy so they could throw it on the coffee table and provoke some conversation. You know, like the relatives who are liberal come over and they see the book Government Zero on the table. One of them might actually uh, ask, what does that mean? It's the Savage Nation. That's what it means. John on KKOH, welcome to the program. What's on your mind? Uh, Savage, I just called in to talk to you about that. It also may be because of the way, uh, you know, uh, sexual education is taught in the classroom at a young age. They teach everybody to believe that sex is bad. You'll get diseases. And then they list all the costs and everything of having a child and things like that. Although, I mean, granted, I don't think that's a big impact, but I do think that has something to do with it. It makes, uh, it makes it for a hard reality. What do you mean? How does sex education inhibit a man from getting married? But see, I agree. I agree 100 percent with you. There's the thing is, is that's my other point I was going to bring up. Nowadays, if you go out there and like one of your earlier callers said, you go up and you try to go talk to a girl or meet a woman or something like that, and you just go up and say, "Hey, can I can I buy you a drink or whatever?" And like he said, they push you off. They, they literally teach these But women. guys, hold on. Stop being so faint-hearted. Do you think it was ever any different? What is it supposed to say? Sure, young man. Uh, sure, you're a great-looking guy. Yes, buy me a drink. Why shouldn't she push you off? Well, how does she know who you are? How does she know who you are? She she could be afraid you, you'll you wind up chaining her to a wall somewhere in a basement. How does she know who you are? And then, you see, what what's wrong here is that men think that in the past women just greeted men who came up to them. Oh, sure. You're a great guy. Let's go out. Yeah, sure. No one ever did that. It's never been any different. I think you've just been intimidated and and you, you take rejection uh, too easily. You better learn how to be a better salesman, my friend. <laughs> you know, I, I remember when I was a young guy and I was in sales for a, br a brief period. I went to a sales seminar on how to sell. And the people who were teaching the course said the sale begins, remember this, they said, the sale begins when the customer says no. I'll, I never forgot that. I, know, I was 18, 19 years old, and I never heard that. The sale begins when the customer says no, because your natural instinct is when someone says no to you, you say, uh, okay, and walk away. Well, my friends, it's the same whether you're looking for a date or selling somebody a vacuum cleaner. The sale begins when the customer says no. So you better have some good comeback lines. That's all I can say to you. All right, you're getting a copy of Government Zero. We're running down on this hour here into this uh, point of no return on the Savage Nation. You want to go on with this? Yes. WFTL Rudy, you have an interesting point. Go ahead and make it, please. Yes, hi. First and foremost, thank you for having me on the show. I've been listening to you for 10 years. I'm 36 years old, and God bless you, Dr. Savage. Um, the point that I want to make is the reason why a lot of males are not having uh, marriages or being turned off, you have to look at a few points. Number one, liberalism, as you put it. It's a mental dysfunction or a mental disorder. Um, it has been so penetrated by to the youth, to the young girls, um, that... You, I mean, it's just, it's hard. Wait, wait, hold on. I, are you suggesting that if you have conservative views, women reject you? Well, that's one. Actually, I've had them reject me. I, I, I've seen. That's 100% true by what I hear. Most men are not allowed to express love of country in order to meet a woman. If they do, they're pushed aside as some monster. Unless they espouse some feminist, 
New World Order, 